right, welcome to Tom's Take and hopefully a marvelous Monday for you. Today's tomorrow is beautiful here in mid-Michigan, East Lansing, Michigan, you know, about 60 degrees. You know, the sun's, there's just no cloud in the sky. I'm getting outside pretty much the entire day to make up for the three hours plus I lost in my life yesterday afternoon watching the Detroit Lions serve up 35 points in a row to the New Orleans Saints. Now they're going one to three. The Lions are into the bye week. It's, it's time to whack this loser, Matt Patricia, supposed to be a doctor of defense. Good Lord, their defense is an absolute sieve. And their offense was terrible. I mean, New Orleans was missing a lot of starters on defense. Six consecutive times in a row when the Lions have had a double-digit lead, they've lost the game. It, listen, the mighty Bob Quinn, bye-bye as general manager. Same thing with Matt Patricia. This is absolutely ridiculous. But you know what? I still watch the Lions every Sunday. This goes back to the days of, in a, I don't know, eight or nine years old, Milt Plum, Pat Studd still, a terrible offense, but the defense with Jerry Rush, Alex Karras, Darius McCord, Joe Schmidt, they were at least good. That's the key. Just be, just have a decent defense. This defense is horrible. You can rely on that defense, even though it was all those bad Lions teams in the 60s, then ultimately the 70s. 1970 was a great year. When they when they got to the playoffs before losing to Dallas five to nothing, I don't know. I just that's how we're programmed here in, in Michigan. We watch the Lions. We've been doing. They've won one playoff game since the, they won the NFL championship in 1957. That's but that's what we do here in Michigan. The Detroit Lions. Again, hope your Monday is absolutely marvelous. Make it a great day. Mask up, Michigan. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another time.